Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to talk about three mistakes I made that probably cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably years of wasted time. And I'm going to tell you what they are so you don't make these mistakes. So this is a video to watch if you're just starting out or if you're you know, already on your journey and you're trying to do freelancing. So mistake number one was charging hourly instead of value-based. Uh, this is actually really important. When you charge hourly, you kind of get stuck in the employee mindset with uh, value-based pricing where you're charging fixed rates for a project. You're actually going to make more money because instead of you know having some hourly rate, you have a project fee and that project fee is usually more than what you would have made hourly. I've seen this over and over. Usually like uh, whenever people switch to project based fees, they earn two to three X more per hour just because it's easier to build a package out of it and to, you know, the client doesn't care about the number of hours, right? They don't care if you're charging them $500 an hour as long as there's one fee that they know that they're paying and then that gets them the result they want. And actually, with project-based fees, it motivates you to become more efficient, it motivates you to hire a team, it motivates you to think like a real business instead of you know hourly basis, which is honestly not the way to go. So that's mistake number one. Just switching from hourly to project-based will increase your income by two to three X. I can promise you that. Mistake number two is generalizing instead of specializing. You really want to niche down as fast as possible. There was a time where I was trying to do email marketing and CRO and YouTube ads uh, until I really niched down into paid ads. I was kind of just all over the place. So stop trying to do everything. Start focusing on one niche because that allows you to do the same thing over and over. So you're more efficient at it. You're better at it and you can't be a master of all trades. That's very rare. You're probably gonna be okay at everything. You're not gonna get the results people would pay out top dollar for. On the other hand, if you focus on one thing and you get really good at it, you can charge top dollar. You can easily build a process for it because if you're a full service person or a full service agency, you'll have to build processes for 50 things. While if you're just doing one thing, you just have to deliver that one thing well to your client. So specializing instead of generalizing will allow you to scale your business and will allow you to start charging top dollar. And that's really important. Mistake number three was not learning how to do sales and marketing for yourself, uh, for myself. So you gotta learn how to sell. You gotta read sales books. You gotta learn how to do sales calls. You gotta record your sales calls and you gotta review your sales calls. You even hire a sales mentor if you need to, or uh, maybe you could even get a sales job if you're just starting out, just so you can learn on the job. Like, I'm not kidding you, learning how to sell is extremely important. If you don't know how to sell, you're in trouble. Number two is obviously the marketing side, which is actually getting leads into the funnel. So sales is, you know, when, when they're basically kind of already interested and you're getting on a call to get them to purchase. On the other hand, you need to have people who are interested who will have a call with you and give you a shot. And that's the marketing side, uh, which could be many different things, but you gotta start branding yourself. You gotta start, you know, basically promoting yourself, right? A lot of people are afraid to promote themselves. I was afraid to promote myself. And once you learn how to promote yourself, then you're able to actually start you know, getting more people into the pipeline and then you can close those people and that's where you start to actually you know, earn significantly more as a freelancer and that's where you should start thinking about transitioning to an agency once you have enough earnings that you can hire part-time people to help you out with what you're doing. So again, this is advice if you're in the freelancing world. Um, these are mistakes which definitely cost me a lot of time. I would be way further ahead if I had not made these mistakes. So really try to fix those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and if you do want to learn a skill that you could use for freelancing, check out the rest of my YouTube ads videos and check out the free content. YouTube ads is an awesome niche to get to and you know, you potentially check out my course because that will definitely get you to the point where you can run ads for clients. And yeah, give this a like or subscribe if this was interesting. Thanks for watching the video. With our feet on the ground and we will talk with our head in the clouds and we will walk with